Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Now I got the uh, brushless reciprocating saw from Craftsman right here. The V20 version, an eyeball on it. And uh, good thing I didn't uh, get it a few days ago when I was gonna, because up and popped the deal to get a free battery kit with it. Free battery kit right there. And it's a good thing I got it. I ordered it, ordered it last night because today the price for the tool is 129. So save 30 bucks by uh, being impulsive. Yay. Anyway, let's open this up. Check it out. I forget, they always have three straps on this thing. Guess it makes Saturday nights more exciting, huh? I don't know. There we go. Anyway. Tool only, instruction book, box, yippee ki -yay, right? Alright. Is that even a blade? Not even a blade. It's got a blade on the box. Oh, hey, what are you gonna do? It is the V20 voltage. Stroke, stroke length, one and one eighth. That comes out to 28 and a half millimeter. Strokes per minute, zero to 2300. Or zero to 3200, because it's a two speed. The entire length is 15.3 inches. And the weight is uh, five pounds. So yeah, it just includes the, uh, I went with, uh, with blade. Hey, I did not include the blade. Eh, I think I'll cry about it. Maybe I'll call a craftsman about it. Yeah, the body's kind of thick right there. Like you'd like her. And quick change. Right there, I like that better than the... Uh, Black and Decker, quick change. Let me see. Let me give a get that there. Because Black and Decker has this lever, and I'm always afraid the stupid plastic lever is going to break. All right, let me get a battery and check that out. Four amp hour battery. Charged lock. Uh, there we go. And the middle is locked. Speed one, speed two, or maybe that's one. Let's see. Yes. The little arrow right there means it's on that speed. That speed. Has a light right in there. Pretty nice. The shoe right there. Hold it against a uh, piece. It is not as shaky as the Black & Decker that I have. Just pretty, uh, this is pretty nice. Let's go outside and uh, see what we can do. All right. Uh, it's uh, four pieces of your common household pallet wood. Try to cut through them, see what happens. Using a DeWalt bimetal blade right here. Wood with nails. Speed one, try.
Nice. Speed two. Nice. Speed one again. Speed two again. All right, there we go. All right, so yeah. Oh, I like it. The, like I said, the release right here. Blade change, a lot easier. Comes right out. Hit it right in there. Release, locked in. That's it, that's it on that. Two speeds, variable speed trigger. I don't think I demonstrated that yet. Like so. Takes a V20 batteries, which is nice. Your light right there. Awesome. Brushless. I'm trying to upgrade as many of my tools to brushless as I can. I sure wasn't getting the brushed version since I already have a uh, brushed corded, a brushed cordless, and a brushed uh, the Matrix one. So, nice little, little addition to my collection. If you're just starting on tools, just go with brushless. If you have a bunch of brush tools and uh, and you uh, are itching for a new tool and you already have something, do what I do. Tell the wife, hey, I'm upgrading to brushless. And uh, it is an upgrade. You don't have to worry about brushes burning up, anything like that. The only thing you really have to worry about in the motor housing is airflow and ball bearings. That's it. Because brushes on uh, electric motors are always the first to go out. They should last a lot longer than uh, a brushed motor. But, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and all that jazz.